difficult on Campbellsville, especially down inside. Lady Tigers have hit some shots. Here's Lake with one. That is hard. And the rebound taken by Heemstra. Knocked away by Faith Lake. Pritchett grabs it, shovels it, and one for Faith Lake. How about Lake and Pritchett to combine? They get the takeaway and the bucket. Heemstra just couldn't quite hold on. The foul will go against Polly, and that thickens the plot a bit for Coach Olsen as Polly picks up her third. Polly, an honorable mention in the uh, Great Plains Athletic Conference last season. I think that... Uh, Looking at the uh, the roster and things for Concordia, they've went ahead and, and maybe added the extra years. And I know, you know, across the NAI, it's been tough. Teams have handled it in different ways. The Lady Tigers have not. There is, if you look at the Lady Tigers roster, none of theirs show the the fact that uh, you can come back for that extra year. I believe that's what Concordia has done because again, Rushton is listed as a freshman, but she was an All Team uh, First Conference member last year. Here's a three on the offensive end for Conrad that's no good. Lady Tigers an eight-point lead. They can grab their largest of the day here with a bucket. I wish there was a universal way that the NAI had handled that. Right side Pritchett here. Jumper off the baseline. That is no good for Swiss and a rebound underneath. They're going to call this oh my, is that on Rushton? Oh. I don't know about that, but uh, Lady Tigers will take it. Rushton picks up her third. I guess they're going to say she was kind of riding Lake uh, out of bounds there, but, boy, that's a tough call on a box out. Here, Pritchett inside. McGeorge goes to work quickly, shovels one up, no good. Pritchett knocked it away from Heemstra, but Pauly there to grab it for Concordia. Conrad. Low block, Heemstra kicks it out. Shooter is Baker, three on the way. That is hard. Rebound to Polly. Ball deflected here by Faith Lake. Conrad going to chase it down before it goes into the backcourt. Tim to shoot. Ball deflected by Faith Lake. Pritchett has it. Now Pettigo. Pettigo ahead, shovels it back on the wing. Now into the corner. That is Lexi Lake. Pettigo again, skips it. Right corner, Faith Lake, South Paul three. No good. McGeorge grabs the rebound, goes up, can't finish. Heemstra and Pritchett in there. We're going to go to the arrow, which favors Concordia. So you've got three Bulldogs, two Bulldogs with three fouls, Rushton and Pauly. And Coach Olsen will go again with the, the line change, so to speak. 8.09 8.09 to play in the third quarter. Campbellsville, the 34-26 advantage. Ahead, that is Powell, who nearly turns it over as Lexi Lake got a deflection. Farrell, out top, Brigham. Holds it, bounces. Straight away shot from Powell is good right off the free throw line there. Back to a six-point margin. Left side, Faith Lake. Now Pritchett with it. Lexi Lake closed out on. Straight away between the circles. Faith Lake back to Lexi. Entry, McGeorge, nice seal, nice bucket. Gets the finish at the rim. Ashley McGeorge gets the hoop, and Lexi Lake the helper. 7.20 to play. Third quarter. Campbellsville back up by eight. Inside, shot by Luby, no good. We're going to have a foul called against Pritchett. So this will be the second on Courtney Pritchett, first on the Lady Tigers. Sarah Kate Pettigo, uh, Bailey's older sister, saying that the video is working now. So good news for all of you uh, back home trying to pull this one up, whether you're Somewhere close to Seward, Nebraska, or Campbellsville, Kentucky. First free throw for Luby, no good. Second free throw, no good. Misses both. The rebound came off short and kind of handcuffed McGeorge. She could not handle it cleanly. Toomey was in there fighting with her. Ball ends up getting knocked out of play. They say last touch by Campbellsville. Caitlin Wilkes going to check in. That free throw at the front of the rim and, and almost bounced straight down into the legs of McGeorge, and she will check out here. Wilkes in there, 36-28, Campbellsville leads. Driving, shot off glass, good for Toomey. 36-30, Pedigo dribbles off right side. 
Pritchett back out. Had to go again. Nearly lost the handle. Shovels it to Pritchett straight away. Closed out on by Toomey. Wants to drive. Leaves it with Wilkes. Now Lexi Lake skips it left side. Driving baseline. Faith underneath. Ball knocked away from Wilkes with four on the shot clock here. Both of these teams have made it difficult on one another to score. Really the difference at this stage is the fact that Campbellsville has hit the open shots from deep. And there is some discussion here over the clock or shot clock. Maybe a coach may have been arguing that was their possession by Farrell in there for a brief moment. So there's... I'm not sure exactly what the discussion was about. They went over to the scores table to check. Everything appears to be okay. Four seconds to shoot for Campbellsville. Lexi Lake going to throw one up. Nearly banked it in. I don't think it hit rim. It's going to go all the way out of play. Had had Lexi had uh, maybe about six to eight inches more on that, she would have had a shot at banking that in off the wing. That's all she could do was kind of the last second heave there. 36 to 30. Concordia trying to cut into this Lady Tiger advantage, and they do. Over the top, Toomey finds Luby, and Kayla Luby with a bucket makes it a four-point contest, 36-32. Six minutes to play in this third quarter. Pedigo bounces inside to Pritchett. She'll turn, face up, and drive. Cut off, looking for some help. Out, Lexi Lake, three on the way. That is hard. Rebound, Pritchett going to go back up. Shot won't go. Pritchett has not been able to buy one today, but she will go to the free throw line. Now we'll go against Sadie Powell. It's going to be three on Concordia as Powell picks up her first. Courtney Pritchett at the free throw line here for Campbellsville University. 5.49 on the clock. Third quarter. Free throw good for Swiss. For Campbellsville, you've got Pettigo and Wilkes hanging out near midcourt, backcourt area. Maddie Boyle and Faith Lake on the paint. Pritchett sinks that second free throw, the five there for the Lady Tigers. Brigham looking for some help here as she finally gets it ahead to Toomey. Toomey breaking down the defense, flicks it back out. Powell wants to drive, blocked by Wilkes. Ball comes free to Luby, and we're going to have a foul called against Wilkes as she was trying to get back into position. She blocked the Powell effort, but as she slid back over on Luby, the ball came free to Luby. Wilkes uh, going to be hit with the body contact. That's two on Wilkes. Two on the Lady Tigers in the period. Luby back to the free throw line, 54% on the season. Missed a couple of free throws earlier. Hits this one. And this free throw for Luby is good as well. So she missed two earlier, gets two here. So uh, right at that season average with a couple of makes. Lauren Lee back in for Campbellsville. Pedigo checking out. 38-34, 38-34, Campbellsville leads, 5.35 to play in the third quarter. I think there's a, a late start there on the shot clock. They'll adjust, adjust it a bit. Lee right side to Boyle. Pritchett, one dribble, looking, has Wilkes now, rolls to the rim, Wilkes shot up, good, Caitlin Wilkes gets the deuce, Courtney Pritchett the dime, nice job by Pritchett Pritchett to kind of draw in the defenders with that one dribble and left Wilkes wide open, Powell driving, throws up an off-balance shot, and now we're going to have another foul on Campbellsville, I'm telling you, on, uh, we've had more fouls called underneath on Concordia missed shots both ways, Campbellsville's had some defensively, and Concordia's had a few offensive fouls called on them. This is going to go against Pritchett. That's going to be three on Pritchett. Brigham tosses it in to Powell, working against Faith Lake. Drives across the lane, shot no good. Nice defense by Wilkes. And now Luby 
on the offensive rebound. Offensive rebounding has really uh, kept Concordia in this a bit. This will go against Faith Lake. Moody goes to the line. Free throw here is good. Forty to thirty-five, five oh six to play in the third quarter. Luby gets both. Sarah Sutton going to check in as Pritchett has the uh, three fouls. Wilkes and Lee in the backcourt. They come ahead. They'll join Boyle, Sutton, and Lake Faith Lake in the front court. Now top Lee left side. Faith Lake looking has Sutton short corner back out. Boyle has it out. Lake again wants to drive, going to dump it down inside. Wilkes goes to work. Shot blocked by Luby. Nice defense by Kayla Luby underneath. Concordia will push. Off the elbow, Brigham stops, chased, and now we have a foul called against Campbellsville. This will go against Matty Boyle. And that'll be Boyle's first five on the Lady Tigers as a team who will send Brigham to the free throw line. Lexi Lake back in here for Faith Lake. Free throw for Brigham is good. Forty to thirty-seven, and that's an over in the back, uh, over back. Easy for me to say, over the back call on Powell. She kind of jumped up over the top of the Lady Tigers there on that missed free throw. That'll be two on Powell. Three on uh, Concordia as a team. Actually, four on Concordia as a team. Lauren Lee to the offensive end for Campbellsville. Lady Tigers with a three-point advantage. Right side, Sutton can't shoot it. Back out top, Lee wants to drive. Working against Brigham. Gets a little room off glass. Good for Lauren Lee. Sticks it right there off the front of the iron off glass. Boyle going to pick up Brigham in the backcourt. Spins away. Toomey going to come help far side of the floor. Toomey driving right block underneath. Out to Powell. She wants to drive. Now dumps it down to Luby. Ball deflected. Did they say yes? Farrell did touch it, so Lexi Lake got a fingernail on it. Then it hit the hands of Farrell and went out of play. It was a bit interesting though because Farrell didn't really chase that down like she uh, when she thought maybe she had touched it. So uh, Campbellsville's got to send somebody up here to inbound. Concordia Five on, five off for the Bulldogs as uh, Lake will come up and inbound. That's Lexi Lake in there at the moment. So another Concordia turnover. 42-37. Four minutes to play third quarter. Matt Payton here with you in Honolulu, Hawaii. Lady Tigers back to work. Sutton. Now... Lee, back to Boyle, left side, three on the way, no good, Boyle hit three, first half, three, Sutton's put back is there, Sarah Sutton right in front of the iron gets the put back for the Lady Tigers, 44-37, Boyle a takeaway, bumped and a foul called, and that's a really good foul by Conrad, because Boyle uh, had picked up the basketball, she was headed towards the rim, and that was going to be more than likely an easy layup for Maddie Boyle, Conrad's second, five on Concordia, so Boyle will have to earn these at the free throw line, Coach Drew Olson wants a 30 second timeout to discuss things here for the Bulldogs, 44-37 the score, 331 to play in the third quarter. Taking a look at some individual numbers here. Campbellsville led in scoring at the moment. Still by Maddie Boyle with those 11 points. Wilkes and Faith Lake with seven each for the Lady Tigers. Five from Sarah Sutton for Concordia. Led in scoring at this stage by Kayla Luby with 8.7 for Taylor Farrell. Six for Lauren Baker in the ball game. Lady Tigers for the contest, shooting 38%. Concordia just 36%. So you start to wonder, you ask the question, maybe some tired legs from these two teams as they got into town late Thursday night. 
and uh, had maybe the one day to somewhat recover. Free throw by Boyle, no good. And out here early this morning, at least uh, in our time zone, you guys are well into the evening back in Campbellsville or wherever you're listening from if you're in the eastern time zone. Shyla Calvert in the backcourt hanging out with Conrad, comes ahead. Boyle got the one free throw. Here's the deflection by Sutton. It goes out of play. They were looking for Heemster down in the in line. 45-37 the count, 321 to play. Conrad the inbound for Concordia. Wanted Heemstra. Had her for a brief second. Campbell's had a nice job to help out and close that passing lane up. Now Concordia to work. Long pass looking for Rushton. And I believe that was Conrad threw it over her head. A turnover for the Bulldogs. Campbellsville back to work. Lauren Lee. Right side Boyle with it. Lee once again. Now Calvert setting off the baseline thought about it. Lee wants to drive. Calvert left side. Boyle wide open. Three on the way. is no good. Rebound batted and we're going to have a foul underneath. They have really called that tight on the rebounding uh, off missed shots. This one will go against Riley Pauley. And that's going to be four on Pauley. And Caitlin Wilkes will go to the free throw line here for the Lady Tigers. 45-37 the score. It feels like this third quarter is... Uh, Went on and on here. Still 2.55 to play in the period. Wilkes free throw is hard. It bounces right back out to her. One more for Caitlin Wilkes. And this free throw is good. 46-37. Lady Tigers have matched their largest lead at nine points. Conrad. Far side of the floor, back to the middle now. Howe with the basketball. Howe, this might be the first time we've seen some changing in the two lineups for Coach Olsen. Here's a three from Toomey that is well short. It grazed, actually grazed the front of the rim. Luby's put back no good, and the rebound to Sutton. So multiple missed chances there for Concordia. Campbellsville looking for a double-digit lead here with a bucket. Lauren Lee backing away. Now Calvert. Lee right side, wants Sutton, has her, turns, good defense there by Conrad, back out, left wing, Calvert, 11 to shoot, has Sutton across the lane, shot up, good for Sarah Sutton, right off the outside of the paint, will turn around, shot, 48-37, an 11 point Lady Tiger advantage, Powell zips one back out to Conrad, can't catch it clean, Rushton has it now, right side three, that is hard, and the rebound, we're going to have a whistle here underneath, and we'll see if this is on Calvert. It is. Shyla Calvert. And this should send. Well, I don't think she fouled Rushton. I thought she fouled Powell on the rebound. Maybe it was Rushton that she fouled. That's the first on Shyla. Rushton at the line here. Free throw no good for Rushton. 77% on the year. One more coming her way. Lady Tigers, an 11-point advantage. 150 to play third quarter. Missed both. And Sarah Sutton, the rebound for Campbellsville. Pedigo pushes long ahead to Calvert. Catches. Back to Pedigo. you got Pedigo, Boyle, Calvert, Wilkes, and Sutton out there. Calvert going to hoist the three. That is short. Graze the front of the iron. Boyle the rebound. And lost the handle as she dribbled it off the foot of Conrad. Stays with it. Pedigo, middle of the floor, bounces. Calvert, back to Pedigo. Right wing, Boyle. Nine to shoot. Sutton off the baseline, driving across the lane, leaves it looking for Calvert and too far. Sutton saw Calvert uh, working the inline and tried to dump one down off to her. And right over the head of Shiloh, I think she was already kind of positioning herself maybe for a rebound opportunity. 11 point Campbellsville advantage. Tried to stay away from CU today as much as possible. Both of these teams, CU, I don't want to mislead anybody. 
Out is Farrell. Had it knocked away, stayed with it on the dribble, and that shot's no good. Wilkes, I think, closed out there for CU. Said CU after I said I wasn't going to do that. Here's Sutton, open. Three on the way. Nope. Rebound. Wilkes goes back up with the right hand. That's no good. And the rebound to Luby. Here comes Concordia with it. Long ahead. Farrell catches, goes up. And again, the two teams have all of a sudden really started struggling. And we're going to have a foul here on Toomey. Oh, they're going to call Pettigo? They call an offensive foul on Bailey Pettigo. Mercy. So with 40 seconds to play in the third quarter, Campbellsville gives it back on the turnover. I didn't see much there from Bailey, but the official said maybe off arm extended, shoved the defender by. Toomey the basketball out far side. Now Farrell a three. No good. Rebound knocked away from Luby as she and Lauren Lee spill to the floor. They're going to say last touch. I don't know how Lauren Lee got a hand on that over Luby. Lee listed at 5'6", Luby 6'1", and had inside position. But uh, it may have been one of those if we don't leave it here. It goes as a foul against Lee. Who knows? 48-37, 27 remaining in the period. Shot clock is off. Inside, and George read it, picked it off. Toomey a little late getting at the Luby. Lee knifes her way in, now back out. Farrell holding her left knee a bit there. She appears to be okay. Eight to shoot, eight to play in the third quarter, I should say. Lee working bump by Rushton. Actually, that is Toomey. And Sutton has it taken away from behind. Toomey going to throw one up. Man, she almost hit that from just uh, not quite half court. She was on the other side of the floor and uh, just missed that off to the right side of the rim. So Campbellsville will take a 48 37 lead into the fourth quarter here, an 11 point advantage for the Lady Tigers. We'll step away and take a timeout. You're following Lady Tiger basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. This is Jack on Shield Swinsky, Campbellsville native and the new director of on campus enrollment at Campbellsville University. I'm excited to share information on CU's 100% tuition guarantee. If you are an eligible incoming freshman from Kentucky, come find your calling at Campbellsville University. Live local, learn local with CU's 100% tuition guarantee. Visit us at camelsville.edu slash guarantee for more information and eligibility. Complete coverage of Lady Tiger basketball continues on the Camelsville University Sports Network. Back here inside T.C. Ching, the athletic center at St. Louis High School. Campbellsville leads Concordia. By 11, as we head to the fourth quarter, uh, taking a look at the play-by-play, Campbellsville's last bucket, the last points in that third period came at the 2:10 mark. Sarah Sutton, little uh, jumper off the paint on the far side. That was uh, that was the last time that these two teams tallied points. Campbellsville made it an 11-point advantage for uh, Concordia. Their last points. Still looking. It was a. Uh, free throw by Brigham at the 439 mark. So Concordia over four and a half minutes without a point. Campbellsville to work here to start this fourth quarter. Left side, Faith Lake with the basketball. Back to Pedigo. Starting lineup out there for Campbellsville. Pritchett inside looking for McGeorge and they're going to get Luby up the back side. She reaches over McGeorge. That'll be the First on Luby, first on Concordia in the fourth quarter, 48-37. Had to go to inbound as Pritchett short corner on the baseline. Pritchett wants to drive, middle of the court. Now looking back door, she's got Faith Lake, goes underneath. Faith Lake gets the hoop. Courtney Pritchett the helper. 50-37, to the Lady Tigers the advantage. Brigham brings it ahead. Campbellsville has really put the clamps on Concordia here today. Faith Lake going to be called for the foul. Going across the paint was Toomey. So that's the second on Faith Lake. First on Campbellsville in the period. 
Concordia to inbound on the far sideline. Pitch it in to Farrell here. And back to Toomey. Inside, ball knocked away. But George comes across and keeps it out of the hands of Luby. Brigham to inbound. 9.07 to play. Looking for Luby too far. He goes over the arms of Luby down the block, and Faith Lake picked it up for Campbellsville. Lady Tigers to the offensive end. 13-point Campbellsville lead. Lake bounces inside to Pritchett. Now Pritchett going to take the face-up jumper. No good. Ball goes through the legs of Luby. Lexi Lake shovels it back in play. Ooh, they're going to call out of bounds. They're going to say that uh, – well, I don't know if he actually called steps or if uh, – she was out of bounds. I never saw the official's uh, signal there. He kind of made a, a bobbling motion. So maybe that was what he was telling Coach uh, Ginger High Colvin that she tried to take that time out. So I think she was out of bounds and no possession. Over the top looking for Luby. Catches somehow. Gets that up on the rim. Nice pass by Toomey. 50 to 39. That goes uh, about six minutes between buckets for Concordia. Here Faith Lake can't shoot it. McGeorge back out to Faith Lake. Now left side, Pedigo. Pritchett going to stalk, set the screen. No, they get it to Pritchett. She wants to drive baseline. Cut off, looking for. She had Lexi Lake in the corner, but Farrell, who sold out on that double team, got just enough of it. And Concordia with an opportunity at a points off turnovers here. Farrell going to fire a three. That is no good. And the rebound. Pedigo was there, but Powell flew in, took it right away from her to get the bucket four straight here for Concordia. Pedigo will call out the offense. Right wing. Nine-point Lady Tiger advantage. Lake dribbling. Left side now backs away. Bounces out to Pritchett. Pritchett spins back to Faith Lake. Wants to drive baseline. Sends it in to McGeorge. Turn around shot. McGeorge is good. Ashley McGeorge killed it right off the front of the rim. I wasn't sure initially that it had enough to get over the rim, but... Hits the front of the iron and falls through. Here a shot underneath for Luby is good. We're going to have a foul called on Campbellsville's Bailey Pedigo. So this will be an and one opportunity as Pedigo has picked up her fourth. Two on the Lady Tigers in the period. Pedigo will have to check out as Lauren Lee will enter. And they... Uh, Make the uh, they come over and make sure they counted that bucket. So Luby can make this an eight-point contest with the free throw here, and she does. And a timeout taken by Coach Drew Olson. He wants a full timeout here to talk about things for the Concordia Bulldogs. 52-44 the score. We'll step away. You're following Lady Tiger basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. With more than 80 majors and certifications, Campbellsville University offers students an affordable higher education in a Christian setting. Located in the heart of Kentucky, Campbellsville University boasts eight regional centers across the Commonwealth. Our 13 to 1 student professor ratio provides a small classroom environment allowing professors to work closely with the students. To schedule a visit or apply, go online to campbellsville.edu. Come find your calling at Campbellsville University. Complete coverage of Lady Tiger basketball continues on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. 728 to play in the basketball game. Matt Payton with you here at St. Louis High School. I mentioned earlier uh, they've uh, had some guys uh, from uh, this institution make uh, a name for themselves in the professional sports ranks uh, from Baseball, Benny Agbiani, maybe the most famous. You got uh, Jordan Yamamoto and Brandon League. League was in the uh, majors for quite a few years. There it was a one-time All-Star. Yamamoto still in the majors. Uh, Olin Krutz and Chris Famatu Maafala, Dominic Riola, some football players. Tyson Alu uh, with the Steelers now. Marcus Mariota, Tua Tagovailoa. So some talent has been produced here. At this uh, high school, it's McGeorge. Oh, my goodness. McGeorge knocked out of bounds by Luby there. No call on that one. We've uh, seen some ticky-tack stuff uh, let go 
or uh, be called each way. And uh, sometimes you see some heavy contact just looked over by the officials. Toomey inside looking for Luby, and now we're going to get a foul here as McGeorge closes out on Luby. Concordia really trying to feed things through the sophomore post from B, Nebraska. Wilkes going to check in as Mc... McGeorge hit with that foul. Her third three on the Lady Tigers as a team. Wilkes back in there. 52-44, the count. Brigham looking, throws it in to Powell. Now out to me, now the entry. Here's Luby, out, Powell again on the corner. Going to drive in over the top of Wilkes. That's good for Sadie Powell. And Concordia has it back to a six-point margin. Closing in on six and a half minutes to play. Inside, Wilkes. Jumper off the baseline, in and out, no good. Rebound to Powell. Clean look for Wilkes, just wouldn't fall. Long ahead, Luby beats the Lady Tiger defense back down the court. And a timeout taken by Ginger Highcalvin here. As this will be a 30-second timeout, 52-48. So the uh, Lady Tigers had opened up a bit of a lead there. It was uh, 11 points or so. When they uh, got to 52, uh, Concordia was uh, stuck down there at 51. So seven straight, uh, 41 uh, for Concordia. So seven straight now at 52, 48, and it is Concordia Bulldogs basketball. As Campbellsville huddles up around its head coach, they look for win number 13 on the season. Campbellsville remaining in that number one spot of the latest NAI poll that was released earlier this week. Campbellsville with wins this week already over CU Harrodsburg and Asbury. Feels like forever ago that those games took place. Lady Tigers in action here today, of course. Then tomorrow, and they're back at it to start the new year against Georgetown on the third. It's Campbellsville basketball. I said a moment ago it would be uh, Concordia ball, but it's Lady Tiger basketball after that Concordia bucket by Luby. Foul underneath here on... The Bulldogs, this will go against Toomey. And this will send Courtney Pritchett to the free throw line here, a shooting foul. Free throw for Pritchett is good. One more coming the way of Courtney Pritchett as Lexi Lake and Maddie Boyle will vacate the Lane, so every uh, Lady Tiger on the floor in the backcourt with the exception of Pritchett, who hits the free throw. So that ends the run of seven straight for Concordia. Brigham to Powell. And hit Powell down the middle. Goes over the shot. That is good. Concordia, to their credit, has done a nice job here to find some open pass to the rim with some of their posts. Pritchett holds it. Now Lee. Pritchett straight away bluffs the shot. Out to Lee again, off the screen. Lee backs away, now accelerates right at Toomey. Shot off glass, won't go for Lee. And the rebound to Luby, and now we're going to have a foul called. We'll see if that's on Pritchett. It is on Courtney Pritchett on the rebound. That's her fourth. And the fourth on Campbellsville. Four-point game, 537 to play. Concordia with a chance to cut in even further. Out top, Farrell, nearly a turnover by Concordia. Back to Farrell, she's open, three on the way. That is hard, and the rebound taken by Caitlin Wilkes. Lauren Lee to the offensive end for Campbellsville. Lee bounces, Pritchett out front. Lee again, driving in, has Boyle in the corner. Three on the way, no good, and the rebound taken by Powell. Boyle had a... Nice first half here. She hasn't been able to pick up where she left off, however. 54-50. Campbellsville still a four-point lead. Over the top, looking for Luby. Too much on it. Toomey was uh, trying to find Kayla Luby. Too strong. It goes out of play. 54-50 the score. Campbellsville 
Looks for more points here. Lauren Lee, left side to Lexi Lake. Lake has it in the corner. Now Pritchett. They wanted Wilkes. Couldn't get it to her. Off the screen. Boyle knifes in. She's bumped. This will go against Toomey. That'll be two on McKenzie Toomey. Three on Concordia. And Campbellsville will inbound underneath here. It is Lee walking down to do the honors. Into the corner. Faith Lake. Nope, that's Lexi. Back out here to Wilkes, who shovels it to her high school teammate, Boyle. Now Lee bounces to Pritchett. All five Lady Tigers have touched it here. Pritchett inside. Lee bounces off the block. Left side, right block. Wilkes for the lay-in. Pritchett, Lee, and Wilkes. You should get two assists on something like that, like they do in hockey. As uh, Pritchett threw it far side, defender moved over to take away Lee's layup. Nobody there to defend Wilkes. And the Lady Tigers with a six-point lead. See Concordia take a timeout here. 56-50 the count. 4.04 to play. You're following Lady Tiger basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. We thank Citizens Bank and Trust for making this sportscast possible. Citizens Bank and Trust features mobile payment options such as Android Pay, Apple Pay, and Google Pay on the web at cbtky.com. Citizens Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. Portions of this sportscast are brought to you by Saloma Baptist Church, an intergenerational church, a family of faith connected through the love of Jesus, ministering to our community and world in the name of Jesus Christ. Online at SalomaBaptist.com. This is Ginger High Colvin, head coach of the Lady Tigers. Thanks for following today's coverage of CU Basketball on the Campbellsville University Sports Network. Matt Payton with you here in Hawaii. Aloha from Hawaii, from uh, all of the uh, Lady Tigers here and Lady Tiger fans across the way, uh, 25 or so, maybe 30 here representing the maroon and gray. Campbellsville looking for a win as uh, Thomas Moore, Mid-South Conference team uh, here as well. They got a win over Doan earlier. Cumberland's knocked off Shawnee State inside of conference play today. Georgetown won down in Puerto Rico. I think Lindsey Wilson plays today as well. I'm not sure what time uh, they may have already played. In the corner here is Powell, a three for Concordia. That is way long. Boyle knocks it away from Luby. They're going to keep it with Concordia here. 56-50 remains the score. 351 to play. Lauren Lee going to check in here for Lexi Lake. Brigham to inbound. Pitches it out here to Farrell. Toomey holds it. Now top, Farrell bluffs the pass. Now sends it down to Luby, working against Wilkes. Nice defense. Bring him open, though, as the shot clock sounds. And Pedigo able to grab that rebound. Wilkes and Pedigo kind of collided with Luby. It looked for a moment like Concordia may get another chance. The Lady Tigers get the stop. Lee, right side to Wilkes. Goes up and one for Kalen Wilkes. Quick, decisive move at the rim off the block for Wilkes, and she draws the foul. It's Luby hit with the contact. Nice job by the Lady Tigers and pushes the lead back to eight as Pauly will check in for Kayla Luby. Wilkes to the nail to make it a nine-point advantage. 3.25 to play. Free throw is good for Caitlin Wilkes. 59-50. Concordia with the basketball. Brigham wanted Polly. It's not there. Now Toomey will hoist the three. That is no good. And the rebound here. Will, we're going to have a foul called on the rebound. Boyle knifed in. She spills to the floor. Polly went to the ground. So this will be the... Second on Boyle, five on the Lady Tigers as a team, and Riley Pauley to the free throw line. Free throw here is good for Pauley. One more, and that one's good as well. Tasha Rushton going to check back in. Also going to get Bailey Conrad back in the lineup. Full court pressure coming here for Concordia. For Campbellsville, you've got Lee, Pedigo, 
Boyle, Faith Lake, and Wilkes out there. Campbellsville back and forth here trying to break this pressure. They will. Lee crosses with three or four seconds to spare now. Double team. She dribbles away from it. Pettigo straight away. Left wing. Boyle bluffs the shot. Drives in. Left block. Wilkes can't finish. Draws the foul, however. And if that's Pauly, her evening will conclude. Her day, I guess I should say, is uh, we're just past noon here in Hawaii. Pauly is fouled out. So Pauly... Checks out. Caitlin Wilkes goes back to the free throw line. Kayla Luby will re-enter here for Concordia. Courtney Pritchett going to check back in here for CU. Wilkes free throw short. 59-52 the score. Wilkes would like to make it an eight-point game with the second one. Free throw for Wilkes is good. So she gets one of two. Pritchett going to check back in. Wilkes will head off the court. Campbellsville with the smaller lineup here. Rushton. Right side, Conrad. Rushton again. Straight away, three on the way. That is no good. Hard. Oh, my. Did they call a foul on a shot? Oh, they did. They called a foul on Faith Lake there. She did close out. I mean, I guess there's a chance. But uh, Rushton goes to the line here. Three shots for Tasha Rushton. Campbellsville leading by seven as Rushton hits the first one. And Rushton misses the second one. So we remain at a seven-point margin, 242 to play. And Rushton's third free throw is good, so she gets two of the three. It's a six-point game. Pettigo and Lee working the backcourt with the basketball. Rushton hangs out. Pettigo brings it ahead. Now Lee in the logo at midcourt. Crusaders logo here at St. Louis High School. Pettigo on the far elbow. Works away from some... Concordia defenders now into the corner. Lee finds Faith Lake. No good on that three. Long board chased down by Pedigo. Campbellsville, another opportunity. Boyle called for steps. Unforced error here by the Tigers. Gives it back to Concordia. 60-54 to 54 the score. 2.09 to go. Rushton holds it off the wing right side. Lauren Lee there to defend. Now Conrad, extra pass into the corner, frees up Toomey. Wide open three. That is long, and they're going to call Powell on the foul here. Tough uh, tough go against Powell. Not sure she was even moving when the contact was made. Lee kind of grabbed that basketball, and Sadie Powell was there. Heavy contact as Lee started to turn. So Lauren Lee will go to the free throw line here. Lauren Lee can make it an eight-point game once again. Lady Tiger started this game with eight straight. It was eight to nothing before Concordia ever got into the scoring column. Seven-point lead after that made free throw. One more coming for Lauren Lee, and that one is hard, so it remains a seven-point contest. Brigham brings the basketball ahead here for Concordia. Toomey. They want Luby. They've got her. Here, quick move by Luby. Can't finish. Pettigo taps it away from her on the rebound and grabs it. Bailey Pettigo the other way. Long ahead to Boyle. And now Pritchett back out. Lauren Lee will hold it a bit here. 90 seconds to play in the basketball game. Lee bounces. Pettigo back to Lee left side. 14 to shoot. Pettigo entry. Pritchett looking, finds Lee inside, left block now. It's Faith Lake gets the easy bucket again. Pritchett and Lee play off one another, and it's Faith Lake getting the benefit here for Campbellsville. Lady Tigers up nine, deflection stolen. Can Campbellsville grab it? They can't, and Pritchett's going to foul out. She was falling down to grab the basketball, and Courtney Pritchett will foul out with 63 seconds to go. 
Campbellsville with a nine-point advantage, 63-54, and it sends Concordia to the free throw line here. So Pritchett joins Riley Pauley. So each of these two teams have seen uh, post players, uh, all-conference caliber post players foul out. Pritchett's second team all-conference a year ago in the Mid-South Conference. Changes here for Coach Olson, and this would uh, figure to be a fouling situation. Abby Creaser into the lineup, 5'8 freshman guard from Lincoln, Nebraska. Also Hannah Spearman, 5'8 freshman guard from Gretna, Nebraska. So you would expect uh, they're in there to commit a few fouls here as the free throw somehow falls through for Toomey. She hit every bit of the rim on that one before it falls down. 63-55 the score, Campbellsville with the eight-point lead. One more for Toomey is no good. Rebound is loose and taken by Pedigo. Lee with the basketball comes long ahead looking for Lexi Lake too far. Toomey inside, runs over Lee, an offensive foul. Lauren Lee threw it away but comes across, takes the charge, and that will give it back to the Lady Tigers. Nice job by the youngster Lee. 63-55. Bounces it in here to Pedigo. Pedigo sprints ahead, and uh, finally they're going to get the foul call. And I don't blame Creaser a bit. She wasn't really blatant in it, but she was pretty physical with Pedigo. Maybe seeing if Bailey wouldn't turn that over, and you force the officials to call it. She didn't just reach in and tie her up. She just kind of rode her down the, uh, the sideline there. Pedigo will go to the free throw line. Lady Tigers figure to be a few free throws from salting this one away. 63-55 the count. They lead it by eight. Back in action tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern time start. 10 o'clock in the morning local as Pedigo hits the free throw. And Bailey gets one of two, the second one off the mark. Powell will push here for Concordia. Spinning is Farrell in the lane, dumps one out underneath. Looking for Luby, nowhere close. There were two Lady Tigers there. It's stolen away, and that may be it. Coach Olson, uh, I think, kind of going to let this one ride. This will be the fifth loss of the season for Concordia, three of them in conference play. Sterling, their non-conference loss, ball knocked away here. Briarcliff, Dorton, and Morningside all beating Concordia this season. Short corner, Pedigo feeds the uh, post Wilkes straight away. Shot no good. 14 seconds to play. Nine points, the Lady Tigers lead. Farrell looks for Brigham in the corner. She has her. Brigham going to throw up a floater over the top of Wilkes. That will go, and that should be the final score, 64-57. Campbellsville gets the win as they knock off Concordia here in Hawaii. Campbellsville with the seven-point victory. And they move now to 13 and 0 on the season. Concordia falls to 8 and 5 on the year with the loss.